Hi, Gino Borges here with The Wild Self, here to bring you the Burning Man Report 2011. This is my fifth year going out to Burning Man, and every time I leave I say it's going to be my last year, until next year arrives and about a month out I say, hmm, it's probably the place I need to be for a week. Anyways, if you haven't heard of Burning Man Festival, it's held in northern Nevada in a place called Black Rock Desert, and it's a festival about 50,000 plus people get together for a week around Labor Day and engage in this huge collective radical expression. And everything goes here. There is no warrant for your expression. Basically, what people are doing, it's just, it almost becomes sort of second nature. It's juven juvenile, it's goofy. Sometimes it's the most talented stuff you've ever seen in your life. Some of the art installations are incredible, some of the musicians are incredible, and just the sheer spontaneous acts of expression and gifting is really creative in terms of understanding our human potential on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of the way that we relate. And sometimes it takes special spaces like Burning Man to actually create those opportunities where you feel compelled to engage in that kind of behavior because there is no warrant for your expression. You don't have to feel uncomfortable that you're going to be judged or shamed or dishonored or feel awkward about doing it. The only people that feel awkward are the people that aren't participating. <laughs> so it's a wonderful environment in that particular context. And so the theme that comes to my mind when I go to the, out to these events is the idea of stretch. The more longer you stay there, the more your, your existence starts to stretch and the more you get comfortable with in your own humanity. You have, we all have this sort of this cage or prison around us and sometimes that needs to dissolve in order for our sense of self, our wild self, to our radical expressive self to actually exude itself. And so when you have people around you, what happens is that the environmental will becomes your will, your personal will. It's very difficult to do it alone if nobody else around you is doing it as well. But in this case, they do. And so with 50,000 other people doing it, you might not resonate with everybody out there, but the collective mood and the collective endeavor and what's going on out there, it's a rising tide and it lifts you like, like, I mean, like there's no tomorrow. And so I would recommend that if you get a chance to visit Burning Man next year to do it. I wouldn't say that everybody should do it air year in and year out. I don't do it year in and year out. Um, and also I do believe that it's a very unique American experience. There aren't a lot of things in American culture that are terribly unique in terms of providing a space for raw participatory expressive action and for that I am grateful and for that I'm also grateful for all those people that come from all over the country and all over from the world to bring their resources to bear on a small space for a week. So for that that is the Burning Man Report 2011. Thank you, everybody.